PRI, where performance and innovation collide. We welcome you to the biggest showcase our industry has to offer. Here in Indianapolis, come see your favorite cars, racers, and manufacturers in a thrilling three-day event. We invite you to experience this passion and automotive-driven exhibition. PRI, the show you have been waiting for all year. PRI 2022. This is our review of the new FT700 and FT700 Plus ECUs, the new Vision FT platform. It's a very, very pleasure to be here. We're very excited to, to be presenting to the world what we've been working the last three years developing this incredible ECU that it will change definitely what we know as technology for this industry. Thanks for everyone that stopped by and talked to us and uh, checked about the new FT700. We hope this helps so many racers and so much people. There's so much new information, there's so much new features, there's so much capacity on this platform that the next years will be amazing. Hey guys, we're here at PRI 2022. I'm here with Dave Fiscus and his new brand new car that was just unveiled this morning. I've been working with him a lot over the last couple years uh, with his Ultra Street car. It came to me about a year ago, you'd say? I'd say so. Yeah. yeah, about a year ago, about the new build and everything. We started working together, putting together a whole package. Um, this is his new X275 car. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to let him talk about what all it has on it. It's completely 100% fuel tech from ignition to fueling, ECU, everything. So I'm gonna let Dave tell you sort of why he chose FuelTech, why he has chosen FuelTech, and why it's led to multiple championships and why he continues to use it. About five years ago, when I was racing my old car and I was trying to figure out what ECU I was gonna go with because it was time for an upgrade, I looked around, I went to all these big time radial races and who's at the track? Who's supporting the racer? Well, FuelTech. And that's why I decided to go with the uh, FT600 box back then. And it worked great on my other Grand National. And so when it come time to for the next car, which was the Fox Body Mustang, we went with the same system. And of course, it just made natural sense to do it on this new car. We're gonna run X275. I really don't know how to say this, but when you're at the track and you have product support, that means more than anything to me. You know, when, when somebody is around racers, they know what people want in their systems, and uh, it just made a big difference. I mean, uh, I love the dashboard. I like the, you know, being able to touch screen features on it and check this and race data and all that right. kind of stuff, go from different tunes. And so that's what we've got on this. I wanted the best of everything, and that's why it's on the car. I mean, this is a Buick V6. It's kind of unconventional build yeah. in the world today. Yes. But we did really well in Ultra Street with the Fox Body Absolutely. Mustang. Absolutely. So we just kind of carried it over to this and big turbo from Precision. And we'll see what this thing can do. I think it's going to be pretty uh, pretty rowdy. I'm pretty sure you're going to hurt some villains just like you did in Ultra Street. I hope so, so. Yes, I hope yes, so. I know so. I know so. But, you know, we've appreciated your support always, Dave. I've enjoyed working with you and cheeseburger y'all are great y'all know like you said the support y'all have always been able to contact me don't ever stop i'll always be there for y'all um, you know and i can't i can't speak enough for our, about our customers that represent our products like this this is why you're seeing fuel tech everywhere and you'll continue to see that
My name is Enrique Claudio. I'm the owner of 1969 Camaro. It's called El Kiko. It's uh, running on a fuel tech uh, uh, C600. Uh, best unit out there. I recommend it to anybody out there. If it wasn't for the fuel tech 600, I wouldn't be a killer first of the trailer. Like, I rely on that 100%. I run two injectors on it, dump valves on my transmissions. Fuel tech is like probably hands down the best stuff out there. And I mean, it's just so easy, so simple to work on. I couldn't, I couldn't gotten to where I'm at as far as I gotten if it wasn't for a fuel tech 600. Uh, sometimes I say it's a cheat for a guy that it's like dinosaur with a carburetor and don't have no technology. Sorry guys, but you know, it's some good stuff, good stuff out there. And one thing I like is talking with you the other day, telling me your background and everything, how you started from nothing and you had nothing and work your way to this. I love, I love stories like that. Cause I, you know, I've had a lot of similar experiences in life, same way. So anytime I hear a story like that, I love it. Seeing someone like yourself who's passionate about it and has put the work in, done everything on this car itself, built it in his backyard. Yeah. I, I take pride great, in my stuff. Great it's, it's like my, it's what I do for a living. And you can see like the wiring on it. And not to brag, but probably not even one car here that's as clean as wired as this car is. You know, but that's what I do. And you want to do it right so it could be reliable. You know, if you wired it wrong, you're going to have problems. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And the nice thing about about our products is even with ECUs, sensors, wiring is super simple. We have pro harnesses that are already pretty much 95 to 98 percent complete. Yeah, it's the little things like shifters, things of that nature. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about building a new car. Yeah, and yeah. Kiko, man, love what you're doing. Keep up the great work. I've been, yeah, I've been like going on four years on this thing. Never replaced the sensor. Oxygen sensor, right. the wire, the plug, the connector, nothing. Right. This thing is flawless, nothing's ever failed on it. And that just makes me confident when I'm on the line that I know that my stuff is working. Never had any problem and it probably never will. Right, and, and it lets you focus more on making the car faster, which is the ultimate goal. Consistency, repeatability, and overall, you know, getting better. So. You know, Kiko, man, if you need anything, reach out to us anytime. I know you work with our dealers. We always yes, want to support our dealers. So keep working with them. But if you ever need anything from us, don't hesitate, man. Thank so, you, you know, love seeing your car, love meeting you this weekend for the first time. Beautiful wiring job, beautiful car. Keep up the great work, man. Thank you, Thank love you. having you for an ambassador for the company. Honor, yeah. My honor. And Appreciate I'm it, man. To be able to run the future, man. Appreciate it. For everybody that's running the world record right now, or like the imports and stuff. And you know, I'm Puerto Rican myself, we all like have all the world records on the imports, they all run fuel techs. Exactly. If you want to be the fastest in the world, run fuel tech 600 or the 700 and new stuff. Exactly, exactly. Yeah.